Fall. It's the perfect time of year for us up here in Canada. Afternoon barbecues and early evening bonfires. It's the perfect weather to mow. It's where our sissy ryegrass can stand tall and say, In your face, Connor Ward. As the temperature drops, the leaves start to change colors. But for all of us up here in Canada, we know that once the leaves start to change colors, the leaves are going to start to fall. Our lawn care season is coming to an end. Because as the leaves start to fall, we all know that winter is coming. What the... So welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the intro, winter is here and lawn care season is officially over for me. But there's still a few things that I need to do to end my lawn care season. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to winterize your lawn and winterize all your equipment to protect it throughout the winter. Before we get into today's video, today is Remembrance Day or Veterans Day. And I'd like to thank all the men and women who died defending our great countries by having a moment of silence. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about winterizing our lawn and winterizing our equipment. So you might be asking yourself, what does he mean by winterizing? Well, it simply means we're gonna get our lawn ready for spring and we're gonna protect all our lawn care equipment to stand up against the extreme cold. So in my last video, many of you commented down below uh, saying how much you love my mustache. I don't know why, but I wanna thank you for that. So make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below in this video. Let me know what you think of the progress on this thing. Oh, still kinda looks like two caterpillars, but we're making progress. Now, if this is your first time watching the channel or this is your first time winterizing your lawn care equipment, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is winterizing your lawn. So it is fall, which means leaves are falling, so you're going to want to clean up the leaves off your lawn. Now, if you're tired of raking and want a quick and easy way to do that, I'll put a link up into the eye uh, showing you a quick and easy way to use your lawnmower to clean up the leaves. Now, the reason why you wanna pick the leaves up off your lawn is you wanna prevent your leaves from smothering your grass. The snow sits on top of the leaves. And then you're just at risk for fungus and snow mold come springtime. So once all the leaves are picked up off your lawn, um, if you've been doing what I've been doing, I've been fertilizing every two weeks since about mid-September. Uh, that means my last fertilizer application went down at the end of October. So what you wanna do is use any type of fertilizer you want, but as long as it's fast release. Okay, I've been using Scott's Turf Builder. The reason why I've been using this is because it's high in nitrogen. So what you want this time of year is a lot of nitrogen to be put down. Um, I just use the bag rate. Top growth has probably slowed down to the point where it's not growing anymore, but you still want that root development. You want to put this down when the grass is uh, not growing anymore, but obviously before the ground is frozen. So after you throw down your fertilizer, you are going to want to water this in. All right, so now it's time to winterize our lawnmower. So all of this you can do either before winter or in the springtime. It's up to you. Um, either or works. Um, I've done it both ways and the outcome is still the same. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean out the deck of our lawnmower. Um, I've already done it, um, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Then what we're gonna do is put some fuel stabilizer into the gas tank, and what this does is it helps protect the lines and keeps your fuel fresh over the winter. So what you wanna do first is uh, tilt the lawnmower up. You wanna make sure that the gas cap is facing up. That way the gas doesn't pour all the way out. So simply, Okay, sorry for the angle here. 
And again, to clean out the dirt, you're just scraping all the grass and built up material out from under here. Um, now, a lot of people, what they do is while they're doing this, they take the blades off and sharpen it. Um, I prefer to sharpen it in the spring. That's just my preference, but you can do it either or. Okay, and you're just scraping all that material out from here. And that's it. You want to make sure that the deck's cleaned out. Uh, it just makes it ready to go when it comes to spring. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so here's the fuel stabilizer that I'm using. It's the, uh, I guess you say it's Stabil <laughs> uh, fuel stabilizer. Um, so what it says on the back, I'm not sure if you can see this. It says use one ounce, uh, treats up to two and a half gallons. So I'm going to keep it real simple. I'm going to fill this up to the one ounce and put it right into the lawnmower. Now you can put it right into your gas tank. It's up to you. Um, some people uh, at the beginning of fall put this into their gas tank and start using it then. Um, that's what I did. Um, but I'm going to show you that you can do it either way. So here we go. Okay, it's as simple as that, guys. Now it suggests that you run your lawnmower for five minutes. That allows it to get all in the lines. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. All right, guys, it's that easy. So the last thing is you want to make sure you shut the water off. You want to shut it off from the main inside the house and obviously uh, shut it off outside. Um, you want to drain all the water out of the hose. You don't want it to freeze in the, in the line. Um, and that's about it, guys. All right, guys, so that does it for this video. Uh, make sure you check the description. I've put a bunch of links to help support the Movember cause and bring awareness to men's health. Thanks so much for watching, and for some of you, enjoy your day in the lawn. And for those of you where lawn care season is over, stay safe and have a good winter.